Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here. Today we are gonna test the Avast Antivirus versus the Netanium DTXE malware. So let's get straight into the first test. The first test is gonna be with all the protections active on the Avast Antivirus. So without any further ado, let's run the Netanium DTXE malware in 3, 2, 1. And as you guys can see, the Avast antivirus has detected and stopped the Neptunium.exe malware from running. So with that, let's get further into the second test. Great job Avast! This time, the second test is gonna be with the behavior protection deactivated. So let's run the Neptunium.exe malware in 3, 2, 1. And as you guys can see again, the Avast antivirus has still detected and stopped the Neptunium.exe malware from running. So with that, we can get further into the third test. Amazing job Avast! Now for the third test, I'm gonna have the file sheet protection deactivated on the Avast antivirus. So with that, let's run the Neptunium.exe malware once again in 3, 2, 1. And as you guys can see unfortunately, we ended up getting infected with the Neptunium.exe malware. I'm gonna try to reactivate the file sheet protection back on and do a quick scan to see if we'll find any viruses from the Netanyahu.exe malware. And as we can see once again, the Avast antivirus hasn't detected any viruses coming from the Netanyahu.exe malware, it did detect a tool for deactivating Windows Defender, but that's irrelevant at the moment since it's not related to the Netanyahu.exe malware. Anyways, without any further ado, let's do a restart for the final conclusion. And as we can see, the system booted up just fine without any issues. Now let's go to Task Manager and check the system for any potential viruses running from the Netanyahu.exe malware. And as you guys can see, I couldn't find anything related to the Neptunium.exe malware, so with that, I guess I'm gonna keep the result as a tie, neither the antiviruses and neither the malware one unfortunately, because the Avast antivirus just survived 3 tests out of 4, and the third test was barely survived. I guess Avast had a lot of luck since I could enable its file shield protection just in time, but yeah, unfortunately this is a tie, equal, we don't have any winner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you are new on this channel make sure to subscribe and also like this video if you enjoyed it and see you guys in my new future videos and as always stay safe and far from always. Bye bye.